Hi, I'm Hideki Maeda of Techers. I'm very excited to be here at the Lake of Santa Margarita. Uh, I want to introduce. Uh, I want to introduce uh, my new frogs. It's called the Clinker. Uh, this one is uh, two braids uh, connected, and uh, it doesn't have the swivel on the on the on the tail. So the braid doesn't spin, and it, when we lead it, this is. It's going like uh, sideways, like uh, swinging side by side, like this. And the two of this, so the braid uh, cracking, uh, touching, hitting each other, so make a noise like a crack, crack, crack. So it is uh, almost same like uh, wake baits, and uh, it's also weedless. So I think this is a uh, you have, bass have never seen like that kind of action and the noise on a kind of cover of water. So I really like to fish on it. Especially, I, I think the kayak fishermen will like uh, this uh, more than a bass boat fishermen. Because uh, kayak fishermen always sitting and uh, leading. So it's hard to twitch the walking frog on a sitting, but uh, this one, you can let it slowly or fast as you like. And uh, even uh, you can hold the rod uh, to tip up, but still it's working good. And I recommend to fish with it, leading with to add to the rod up, because uh, uh, if you get a bite, uh, you can make the slack line easily to for a set light setting hook. Also, the line is not touch the water, so bass can see the line. So it is very important for the kind of uh, tough tough rake. So I will show you uh, how does it work. Now I'm trying the clinker frog, the brand new baits. It's um, not like a heavy cover frog, it's more like a open water frog. So I really like to try kind of shallow to grass, but it's not too much. And uh, just to lay in. And uh, I really like to load tip up, holding the load tip up, so line doesn't make the touch the water. I hear the, the sound. Try to hear the good sound. If that doesn't make the sound, bread uh, might uh, catch the moss or grass. So just to uh, lay it up and uh, I just to make sure that it's, it's clean. Even this one, we can lay it very fast, like uh, crankbaits, uh, wake weight crankbaits. It doesn't work to good action for twitching, but uh, more like a little shake, uh, leading with shaking a little bit like this. It, uh, it makes a kind of irregular cracking action, makes the action. But uh, it's pretty much comfortable for just uh, leading. This frog has uh, no red weights, uh, nothing on it. So a little bit lighter. Also the body, the length of the body is a little shorter than a sprinkler frog. And the weight is about the half ounce. So now I'm using 65 for the regular frog, but uh, 50 might be better for a cast. But I use the, I'm using the same hook of sprinkler, but the body is a little bit smaller. So it might be more easier for bass to swallow the whole thing. It means a more better hookup ratio. This one, uh, it tends to catch a kind of moss cheese. Looks like more like a little harder, hard grass is better for it. The water I want to fish on crinker frog um, it's more like similar like a buzz bait I want to fish and we can lay it a little slower than a buzz bait. In Japan, uh, night, fish, night bass fishing is uh, not popular and uh, most of the lake uh, we cannot fish, it's kind of prohibited. But uh, in US, I hear the 
many uh, night fishing tournament there. So I think, not sure, but I think that that be good for the night fishing because uh, you cannot see the bait, but uh, if you cast and you can hear the the action, it's like so. Just keep uh, what keep hearing the listen the noise and then get a bite. So blow up. So it will be very fun bait for the night time. Uh, this plate is strong enough, but uh, yeah, sometimes we hit cast to the bank. If sometimes if you hit to the lock uh, very strong, hardly, and uh, the bait this connect to the this part bend it. Uh, I I like to keep to the angle like a 60 degree. If the blade becomes to the close to the Bread each other, uh, try to bend back uh, like a 60 degree, like this. So, the gear I use for this, uh, normally I like to use the 65 pound test bread line for the, any kind of frog, but uh, for this, it make more long cast, and uh, I really like to use the 50 pound, I recommend. And uh, I like the high gear, not too much, but uh, more at least uh, one seven. And uh, the rod I use, uh, it's it's a seven foot. Uh, but uh, most of the American frog rod is more than seven foot, seven four, something like that. So it's enough. But uh, I recommend you to use a little softer tip because. Uh, Always we will keep leading, leading. So if the fish bites, you will feel the bite right away. So you must make the slack line right away. But the soft tip make help help you to fish let it down a little bit. So I really like similar like the buzz bait rods, not like too stiff for for this. I recommend. Eight color of the clinker will be available this year, and we have the variety of the color. And the the big things, uh, color of the braid is uh, different depending on the color. Uh, like the mouse and black, that's that's kind of darker color. I use uh, I put the black chrome, both of them. But uh, I have the white one with silver braid, both of them, and bluegill has a chrome with gold and this chartreuse bluegill has a gold with a chartreuse so this one is good only the small part of the chartreuse is flapping and it makes better action for the muddy water thank you for watching and uh, you can find the clinker at uh, tacowarehouse.com